skip uh it smells a little bit like uh like rat poison in here you get rat poison you know the squirrels will eat that remember you remember my birthday like uh like three years ago we had them uh, like 14 dead squirrels right there on the back patio and it's all because uh um the rat poison rat poison oh you just tooting all right sorry about that yeah i'm ready i'm ready let's go <laughs> Everybody, my name is uh, Clark Pickens. This is uh, Ask Clark. I'm the head nut here at FriendsOfSquirrels.org, and uh, this is a show where I answer all your questions, all your squirrel questions. A lot of times, I get Beyonce questions and uh, some uh, questions about gardening. And I had a question once about uh, how to fly a plane when the engine goes out. I didn't know the answer to that one. Um, but today, we do have a squirrel question. Honest to God, squirrel questions. Let me get that for you. It comes from. Norm Maycomer, and Norm wants to know, hey Clark, what do I do when my neighbor hates squirrels? Well, Norm, uh, it depends, really. Um, is it because you're feeding them and they're coming around and they're annoying your neighbor? Or is it uh, perhaps your neighbor has a BB gun and uh, maybe they're just a little psychotic and they're, they're shooting at the squirrels? Or I don't know. What, what it is, it, what I did and what I found and in the past is I've had, we've had like a peace summit almost. Um, my neighbor next door, uh, I've had two neighbors next door. First neighbor, if y'all recall, Andy, the cat, orange cat, great cat, killed one of my squirrels, but for the most part, very friendly, came over, loved to snuggle and get all with me and I like to pet a cat, so, <laughs> um, that was fun, but Andy died and actually, um, the Egyptians, they moved, so, uh, and the next people that moved in, um, also cat lovers. Uh, people coming and going, boxes of free kittens down at the Walmarts, those type of folks. Um, so what would happen is they would let their cats just out and they would come over into the refuge. They'd be out in the refuge. They were causing some sort of havoc. So uh, what I did is uh, Karen and I, uh, we, made us a, we made us a real nice uh, potato chip pie and we, uh, we brought it over and we said hello. I'm Clark. This is Karen. We live where your neighbor's next door, and uh, we brought you this fine uh, potato chip pie. They took one look at that potato chip pie, and they turned their nose up, and they're like, "What is that?" And I said, "Oh, it, it, yeah, it's interesting, but you should try it. It's uh, very delicious." Um, if, those of you that watch the show a long time know that's my favorite dessert: it's potato chips and whipped cream. Very salty, very creamy, very delicious. Anyone who doesn't like it is crazy in the head, if you ask me. So uh, they they tried it they begrudgingly and they kind of liked it and they and they invited us in and we uh, we we met them uh, it's the Carlsons uh, Tina and Lisa and uh, they have cats and they love cats they they don't necessarily hate squirrels but um, they're of the mind that the the cat is a top top animal and it should be able to roam freely. Uh, wherever it wants to go and I'm I'm fine with that as long as it doesn't end up in the refuge so uh, we had a little uh, come to come to Clark <laughs> I let them know uh, one of the things my, my mission in life is to, you know to be the friend of the squirrel be a saved squirrel uh, have a resource a refuge and uh, and um, I love I love squirrel I feed them nuts so um, I explained that to her and she well Lisa I think was the the head head dog over there kid cat <laughs> over there uh Tina was just sort of sitting there eating potato chip pie Lisa and I uh she's a she's a stealing woman and she uh I swear to god she looked right into my soul and took a piece but um I think I think where we connected well I told her my story you know I told her about my past and and having been a, a razor of squirrels for meat and then having a, a changed my life around and now I, I save the squirrels and and she uh i think she took that to heart a little bit and uh we decided to come up with a strategy to keep the cats out so we're uh extending the fence on uh on the property line well, there already was a fence but it's just a small wooden fence uh we're extending that we're adding uh about eight more feet. I had to go down and get, get this. We had to go down to city hall and get a extension permit thing to keep the cats out. So they don't tend to come around the fence and actually the fence runs back quite a ways. So we're putting up 
I'm putting up uh, another eight feet of just mesh fence. Uh, they can't climb that very well. And squirrels don't really want to go over there anyway, and I don't want squirrels going in there. So we did that, um, and I did agree, and she agreed with me, that I could set some life traps. I don't want to do this. I don't want to catch a squirrel in there. You know, a squirrel and a cat in the cage ah, at the same time. That shouldn't happen, but... So, uh, yeah, every every day now I gotta go out and... Me and Skippy gotta go out and check for, for tabbies in the traps. We keep them along the edge, put some tuna fish in there, and luckily uh, squirrels hate tuna fish. Me too, I hate tuna fish too. And uh, But the cats love it. it uh, so I'm a little torn because I don't know if it's call, causing the, more cats to come over because they know there's food over there. And really the live trap doesn't hurt them. Uh, don't tell Lisa this, but I have a little uh, little zapper. It's it's basically, I made it, made it myself. It's a, a nine volt battery and it sort of be like a taser, but I give them a little <laughs> when they get in there so they don't like it but i don't know if it hurts them or not but i really don't don't care too much so i give them a and then i'll let them carry them back over and i throw them in the lisa's uh yard we've been catching two or three cats a day but the good news is we haven't been losing squirrels because one the uh the, they have other food to eat and two they pretty much get caught right away before they go off and because i don't even think they like to they don't eat in the squirrels right they're just chasing them for fun but i think if the food uh is more important to them so they go down and they catch that tuna fish in the can so norm i don't know if that answers your question uh other than you need to go and have a dialogue with uh with your lisa next door because i i know if i would have done this without her consent she'd have been more irate than than a I'm sure there's a, something like a like a like a pig that you that you set on fire and then send it through a through a newspaper factory. She'd be mad, she'd be madder than a pig in a newspaper factory on fire. I gotta, Skip, I gotta come up with something better than that. Anyway, but she wasn't. She's understanding, and uh, she actually comes over now. And I've given her a couple tours of the refuge, and uh, and Tina, by God, she comes over. Uh, she's gotten the mama's recipe for a potato chip pie, and she's actually been bringing some potato chip pie over. So I, I appreciate it. Except she makes it with Pringles, which is weird. Because I just, the the secret to the potato chip pie is the uh, just a, a potato chip, like a Lay's potato chip flavor, just salt potato. She's making it with those uh, sour cream and, and uh, onion uh, Pringles. So it's, it's kind of fancy, potato chip pie maybe? Because I don't think it really goes with the whipped cream, but... Anyway, uh, so we're kind of at a truce. We kind of had a, had a bit of a peace summit, and uh, all of our animals are still not getting along, but she and I are getting along. I'll give you an update on it, Norm, if it gets worse or, or better. Um, but what I didn't want to have to do is, you know, start picking off cats with a BB gun. Because we might have gotten to that. Or I'll just sit out there all night. Just have Skip sit out there all night. Skip and Brian out there with a big net trying to catch cats. That'd be funny to watch, though. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Anyway, uh, hey, and uh, also uh, we got a picture. Uh, Mama found this picture of me uh, when I was shoot how how old was I? Like twelve years old, uh, back in uh, back at home with uh, one of the one of my first squirrels. That's Boomer, Boomer the squirrel on my back there. Uh, no comment on the sweater because that's it's fancy sweater. Uh, also, that's that's before I was wearing glasses. But uh, yeah, me, 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 Boomer, Boomer, Boomer uh, was a lucky squirrel, but that was. He wasn't uh, for food. That was one of the first pets we had. Uh, I don't know why Papa didn't eat Boomer. Never did. But Boomer lived a ripe old age of uh, like seven or eight. So thanks for the photo, Mama. Uh, if you guys have a photo, you can also uh, send them in to Clark at friendsofsquirrels.org. I like to see pictures of your backyard squirrels. And you can also ask me a question. Uh, you can uh, also follow me on the Twitter at FO Squirrels or on the Instagram at Clark Pickens. And uh, we used to have a face page, but uh, Mark Zuckerberg deleted it, so uh, we don't got that no more. But uh, also on, on the YouTube, and if you're on the YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe, however you however you do that. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm for I'm the head nut here. My name is uh, Clark Pickens. So uh, thanks for your question. Yeah, Pringles. Did you try it? I know it's. Uh, she might as well put barbecue chips on it. As far as I'm concerned, it's disgusting.